everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. For convalescence, the medical profession has always been a strong advocate of Horlicks malted milk. Palatable, easy to digest, nourishing and bodybuilding. Horlicks has most of the qualities necessary in a convalescent food. To illustrate what I mean, I would like you to hear the personal experience of a good friend down in Georgia. He has given us permission to read his letter. Here's what he says, quote, I'm glad to say that Horlicks has been of great value in my wife's rundown condition. I have given it to her regularly for the past three months, and she has gained about 15 pounds, sleeps better, and seems to be on the road to renewed strength, unquote. If you are recovering from an illness, Horlicks malted milk may help you as well. Or if you know of any person who is convalescing, tell them about it. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, Lum and Abner's new picture show, The Pine Ridge Planetarium, is progressing nicely. The old fellows have been busy for the past few days remodeling the old cotton warehouse, converting it into a theater. As we look in on our old friends today, we find Lum and Abner down at the Jot and Down store, discussing plans for the opening. Listen. Well, if Andrew got the floor all down over there, Lum, why, you better get them chairs from a lodge hall and start setting them up in there. Well, we can get the chairs till after Thursday night. That's the last meeting of the lodge for the summer. See, they generally always close up during the hot weather. Yeah. And I wish we could get started on that as soon as we could. We got to fasten all them chairs down to the floor, you know. Fasten them down to the floor? Yeah, that slanting floor we put in there, why, them chairs will slide right down to the front unless we nail them down somewhere or other. Yeah, that's right. Why, sure. I granted there's a heap more to this opening up a picture show than I ever allowed it was. That fellow that runs a lyric in there at the county seat says a bed sheet won't do for a screen to show the picture on. Yeah, says it won't. No, but he knows where we can get a second hand one that awful cheap, he thinks. Yeah, I dog it it just looks like the further we get into this thing, the more money it takes. Well, that fellow Roy Bruder's pretty nice fellow in there at the Lyric Show. Yeah, but law me, law me, that $3,700 will be gone before we know it this rate. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I've studied it over, Abner, and I believe, though, we can make that uh, $3,700 come out all right. Well, we ought to. That's all the money we got. We got to make it come out somewhere or another. But, law me, Lum, we, if you buy that electric sign and all this other stuff that you're talking about, why, no telling where we wind up at. Well, another thing, we've got to have some sceneries. Uh, some what? Sceneries. Curtains to hang back there on the stage with all sorts of pictures painted on them. You saw them. Well, what do we need them for? Well, if we ever want to put on a play of any kind, we'd have to have something for the actors to stand in front of. Yeah, well, law me, Lom, we ain't going to have no plays. We're going to have moving pictures. Well, no, but someday we might have one. Well, we don't have to have all this stuff in there right at first, Lom. Let's wait till we need it. And if we've got to have it, why, we can get it. Well, I know we've got to have a curtain for the front, but that ain't going to cost us nothing. We, we'll make money on that. A <laughs> uh, curtain for the front? Yeah, you know, it'll roll down in front of the screen before the curtain opens up. We've got to have something to cover up the back end there while we ain't showing the picture on the screen. Well, how are we going to make any money out of it, though? Why, well, I uh, aim to paint some signs on there and sell them to fellas here in town. Advertisements. Oh. Here, I've got it all drawn off on a piece of paper here that... If I can find it. Yeah, that'll give you an idea how it's going to look. Hey, are you aiming on painting the signs on there yourself? Well, I figured that'd be cheaper than hiring somebody to paint them. Yeah. See, here's where the sign is going to be at in them spaces there. Of course, the uh, whole thing will be a heap bigger than this. Yeah. Well, uh, what, what is this, Lum? I, I can't make no sense out of it here. Well, this here is supposed to be the main street of Pine Ridge. See, right along there is about... Uh, and that's about Dick Huddleston's store right there. And uh, here's Moe's Moots Barber Shop right about in there. Right there? Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, who's that standing out in the front there? Where? Right there, that fellow with his back turned towards us. Oh, that's the barber pole. Yeah, see, I'll paint red and white stripes on the curtain there. Oh. That is, if Moe's takes a space on it. If he don't, why, we'll change that into something outside the barber shop. Yeah. 
Then I'll just make a man out of that instead of the barber pole. <laughs> well, that don't look like Pine Ridge to me, Mom. We ain't got no buildings that big here that I know of. Well, I exaggerated it a little, I reckon. Sort of making Pine Ridge look like a city there. <laughs> That'll make everybody proud of the hometown, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this here? Oh, that's uh, Caleb Weehunt's blacksmith shop there. Man, it sure don't look like it. No. That old building that Caleb's in over there is might not ready to fall down. Yeah, but that's just the point right there. I mean, see, Caleb will jump at a chance to get his name put on the front of a building like that. <laughs> He'll be proud of himself over that when he sees it. He's just going to paint his sign right there in that space right there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and if Dick Huddleston buys an advertisement, I'll paint his sign right there on his store. He right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that is a pretty good idea, all right, though. <laughs> yeah, it's something new and different. Yeah. <laughs> I studied that up myself. Uh-huh. See, most of them's got a picture of a creek running down through the woods, and then they got signs around on the trees. Yeah. But I don't know. They've all got that. I've even saw them clean up on the mountains there. This way, we'll have the signs where they're supposed to be at. Yeah, uh, well, uh, what building's that right there, Lon Mason? That? Yeah. Don't you know what that is? No, I don't <laughs> believe I've ever seen that before. Oh, I sure you have. That's our store. You mean the got them down store? Why, of course. See, we'll have an advertisement right up there at the top. Well, law me, law, that thing's about six stories high. Yeah, I know. That's a skyscraper. <laughs> I wanted us to have the biggest store in town, of course. It ain't going to cost us nothing, no how. Yeah, but our store ain't even on that street, Mom. I don't know, but that's the only street that shows in the picture. I had to put it over there. Well, how is folks going to find us? How are they going to find us? Why, yes, yeah, they go according to that picture that you've got drawn on there. Why, they be looking for our store down there next to Kayla Weehunt's blacksmith shop. Oh, well, everybody knows where we're at anyhow. See, I'll paint a sign like it was hanging on the front door there saying, move to another location or forced to vacate or ask Caleb Weehunt where we're at or something like that. And then they can just go in the Caleb's blacksmith shop there and ask him where we're at. Yeah, I could do that, I reckon. And here's Tell Dixie Bell's me. place right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, yonder comes Grandpa. Where's he been? Well, he just taking a batch of groceries over to the widow Abernathy. Mm, looks like he's bringing them back with him. Got something stuck under his arm there. Yeah, more like they got the order mixed up somewhere or other. That's about what he done. Yeah, I expect I better speak to him about that. He's making a terrible lot of mistakes here late. Well, the trouble is now, Lom, he don't care where he works for us anymore or not since we give him that job playing a pioneer down there at the picture show when we get it open. He don't want to work in the store no more. Yeah, he's getting awful dependent. I believe that job's went to his head. Oh, yeah, he's always bragging about it. Wait a minute, I'll speak to him about it. Yeah. Uh, Grandpap, come back here a minute. I want to talk to you. Yeah, what's the matter? Did you take the wrong grocery over there? Why, no, I just come by the post office on my way back. Uh, this is some new rolls of music I ordered for my player pioneer. Well, I'm proud to hear that. Yeah, I'm glad you done that, Grandpap. <laughs> I'm fear they'd have got tired of hearing Casey Jones and Steamboat Bill over and over again. Why, sure. Well, I wanted to show them that I know how to play more than just two tunes, too. Uh, did you say you want to talk to me, Lum? Well, just let it go, Grandpap. I can see you some other time. Let's see what pieces you got there. Yeah, I wish you had the pioneer over here. I- I'd love to hear him right now, Grandpap. Yeah, well, you fellas come over to the house tonight, and I'll play them for you. These are some brand spanking new ones right here. I bound you they'll make them set up and take notice. Well, I wish you'd order some old tunes, Grandpa. That's what I like, the old ones. Well, I do too, Abner. I love the old tunes myself, but they never had no old ones in the catalog that me and Charity picked these out of. They never. All right, Granny, this sounds like a good one. Dardanelli. Yeah. What's this one? It's a long way to temper, uh, Tipperary. Oh, oh, yeah, that's awful pretty. It's a long ways to Tipperary. It's a long ways to Yeah, go. I believe I've heard that. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Huh? That's another in here. Oh. Ten do stand. Yeah, Charity says she's heard that and says it's awful pretty long. Well, I still like them old pieces a heap better, though. Like, uh, she's more to be pitted than censored. And a picture that's turned toward the wall. Yeah. There's a mother's heart that's broken. 
There's a name that's seldom spoken. There's a picture that is turned against the wall. That's my favorite right there. Hmm. It'll make me cry every time I sing it. You know, it's about a girl that left home, and, and then when she come back, why, her folks wouldn't let her in the house, and it was snowing and all I that. I know how it goes. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. Here's one that sounds good. My little Margie and Jada. Well, that must be right new I don't reflect ever hearing neither one of them. Well, Grandpap, I'm glad you got these. Uh, we're going to have everything right up to the minute. I can see that right now. <laughs> well, that gets just about everything going wrong. Well, yeah, as far as I know. I think we've thought of everything. As far as I'm concerned now, I'm ready to open up any time now, quick as we get the machine. Yeah. Well, uh, what about the pictures, Lum? Have you got them all bought? The pictures. Yeah, the film. You mean, uh... I granny I forgot about that. I know that that's right. We got to have some pictures to show long. Why, oh, sure. Uh, did you get any with that uh, picture machine that you bought? Wait a minute here. It's a good thing you thought of that, Grandpa. They can where a fella buys them things at. Yeah, well, I don't know, but we ought to have a good one to open up with. Yeah, we ought to have a big picture of some kind. Let me see. Whereabouts do you buy them things at, anyhow? Huh? I say, where do you get them pictures from? I don't know. From the fellow that makes them, I reckon. Yeah. And that fellow in at the county seat, he ought to have some along in that he's already used for, for the lyric, you know. Yeah, I reckon he's got all them that he's ever used in there. But we want to get some new ones or nothing. There's a big picture I've heard of a while back, if I can think of it. Yeah, well, that's what we ought to have, special for the Grand Oakland, ought to have a good one. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait, I've got it right on the end of my tongue, if I can get... Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know now. <laughs> Why, well, sure, the birth of a nation. All right, Granny, that's the picture we want. Now, if I can just find out where to get that at. <laughs> well, <laughs> There's no question about it. The Pine Ridge Planetarium is going to be an up-to-date picture show. I don't think there's anything more annoying than not being able to fall asleep easily at night, especially now that warm weather is here. Many of you have had that experience, I'm sure, know just what sleeplessness is and what it can do, completely ruin your disposition as well as impair your health. Now, a good way to help get all the healthful sleep that you need is to drink a glass full of Horlicks malted milk, hot, just before going to bed. It'll relax and soothe you, and that's just what light sleepers need, relaxing and soothing. So if you have any trouble at all getting to sleep nights, just try the Horlick plan for restful sleep and wake up in the morning as fit as a fiddle, completely refreshed. You can get Horlicks, you know, at every druggist in either natural or chocolate flavor. This is Carlton Bricker, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all good night and good health. <laughs>